When it comes to diabetes management, we often hear about the superfoods we should eat. But just as important are the foods we might want to consume less of or avoid altogether. Today, let's delve into some veggies that, surprising as it may sound, may not be the best choice for those with diabetes. Vegetables are often celebrated for their health benefits, but not all veggies are created equal, especially for those who need to monitor their blood sugar levels closely. While most vegetables are packed with fiber, vitamins, and minerals that are essential for overall health, there are a few that might be better off limited in a diabetic-friendly diet. Here are five veggies to consider approaching with caution. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button and hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. Starting with number five, we have corn. Sweet, crunchy, and versatile. Corn seems like a healthy choice on the surface. And while it does have its nutritional merits like being a source of fiber and B vitamins, it's also relatively high in carbohydrates. According to a study published in the Journal of Medicinal Food, when consumed in large quantities, corn might lead to increased blood sugar levels, particularly in those who are already insulin resistant. Corn-based products like cornflakes or corn chips can have an even more pronounced effect due to processing and added ingredients. Next up is the classic potato. Who doesn't love a good serving of mashed potatoes or fries? However, for diabetics, this might be a vegetable to consume in moderation. The glycemic index, GI, of a food measures how quickly blood sugar levels rise after eating it. Potatoes, especially when boiled or fried, have a high GI, which means they can cause rapid spikes in blood sugar levels. In fact, a study from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition pointed out that frequent potato consumption was linked with an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. It's worth noting that preparation methods and the type of potato can affect its GI. So if you can't part with potatoes completely, consider roasted sweet potatoes as a lower GI alternative. Sliding into the third spot is parsnips. These may look like pale carrots, but they have a different nutritional profile. Parsnips are starchy and have more sugar than other vegetables, which can contribute to higher blood sugar levels. A publication from the University of Sydney listing the glycemic index of various foods places parsnips quite high, making them less ideal for those with diabetes. Fourth on our list is peas. While peas are undeniably nutritious, providing essential vitamins and minerals, they also have a higher carbohydrate content compared to other green veggies. A study in the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition emphasized the importance of understanding carbohydrate quality and quantity when choosing foods for diabetes management. In the case of peas, it might be a good idea to balance them out with other non-starchy vegetables and monitor portion sizes. And now, the number one vegetable to approach with caution when you have diabetes is beets. Beets, or beetroot, have gained popularity in recent years due to their potential benefits for heart and brain health. However, they are also high in natural sugars. When consumed in large amounts, beets can lead to an elevation in blood sugar levels. A report in the Journal of Nutritional Science and Vitaminology confirmed that beet juice could cause significant postprandial glucose concentration in the blood, meaning sugar levels could rise after consuming it. However, before you decide to completely banish these veggies from your plate, there are a few things to consider. First, everyone's body responds differently to different foods. It might be possible that your body handles peas or corn better than someone else's. Regular monitoring and understanding of how these vegetables affect your blood sugar levels are crucial. Second, preparation methods matter. For instance, fermenting or pickling beets might lower their sugar content. Combining high GI veggies with foods high in fiber, fats, or proteins can also slow the absorption of sugar and reduce its impact on blood sugar levels. Lastly, portion control is key. Instead of avoiding these vegetables completely, you might choose to consume them in smaller quantities, balancing them out with other foods that have a lower glycemic index. When managing diabetes, it's important to incorporate vegetables that are low in carbohydrates and have a low glycemic index to help stabilize blood sugar levels. Here are some of the vegetables that are generally considered good choices for people with diabetes. Leafy greens. Leafy greens are a cornerstone of a diabetes-friendly diet for several reasons. First, they are remarkably low in carbohydrates, which means they have a minimal impact on blood sugar levels. Second, they are incredibly low in calories, making them an ideal choice for weight management, which is often important for people with diabetes. Broccoli. 
Broccoli is another diabetes-friendly vegetable due to its low carbohydrate content, high fiber content, and an array of vital nutrients. The fiber in broccoli, along with its low glycemic index, helps stabilize blood sugar levels by preventing rapid spikes. It is also a great source of vitamin C, which supports immune health, and vitamin K, which is important for bone health and blood clotting. Cauliflower Cauliflower is a versatile vegetable that can easily take the place of higher carb foods in various recipes. It is low in carbohydrates, high in fiber, and packed with essential nutrients, such as vitamin C, vitamin K, and folate. It's a smart choice for people with diabetes looking to manage their carbohydrate intake without sacrificing taste or nutrition. Zucchini Zucchini is a great addition to a diabetes-friendly diet because it's both low in carbohydrates and calories. It offers several essential nutrients, including vitamin C and potassium, which are crucial for overall health. Zucchini is also well known for its versatility, as it can be spiralized into zoodles and used as a low-carb alternative to pasta or cut into slices for stir-fries and salads. Bell peppers. Bell peppers are a colorful and flavorful addition to any diabetes meal plan. They are low in calories and carbohydrates, making them a smart choice for managing blood sugar levels. The vibrant colors of bell peppers indicate a rich supply of phytonutrients, which not only help with diabetes management, but also support overall health. Cabbage. Cabbage is another cruciferous vegetable that's low in carbohydrates, making it suitable for diabetes management. It offers dietary fiber, vitamin C, and vitamin K. The dietary fiber in cabbage helps control blood sugar levels and supports digestive health. Cabbage can be utilized in a multitude of recipes, such as coleslaw, stir-fries, or soups, adding flavor, texture, and nutrition to your meals. Tomatoes. While tomatoes do contain some carbohydrates, they have a relatively low glycemic index, which means they have a modest effect on blood sugar levels. They provide essential nutrients like vitamin C, vitamin A, and potassium, which play a role in immune function, eye health, and overall well-being. In conclusion, while managing diabetes can often feel like navigating a minefield of do's and don'ts, it's essential to remember that informed choices, regular monitoring, and understanding your body are the most important. While some veggies might not be the best choice for daily consumption, they can still be enjoyed in moderation as part of a balanced and diverse diet. Always consult with your healthcare provider or nutritionist about making significant changes to your diet. Knowledge is power, and by staying informed and listening to your body, living with diabetes can be a flavorful journey with plenty of room for occasional indulgences.